Alright, boss. Uh, What's your train? No. Dude. Heading to Amsterdam to hopefully buy a van. Alright, bye. Uh. <laughs> this is the first train, and then take another train to some other town in Germany, and then another one to Amsterdam. How long are you traveling for? 12 hours? The train's not even there yet. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> giving Tim all of my extra bags and stuff. <laughs> I thought yeah. that's more risky than giving it to Delta Airlines. <laughs> See you guys in like two days. See ya. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> There he goes, my partner in crime. Now we go to Villars, travel in the morning to uh, a gym in Lausen. The setting is apparently the, some of the same setters that set for the Villars comp. So we get a little prep. I'm kind of winded from that run. And the walls are shorter, so that'll be fun. And then we drive straight to Villars, stay a night there. And then we watch Speed on Thursday. We have dumplings for dinner, it's delicious. And then we compete on Friday. And then Ross will probably meet us on Saturday. So it's on me to make semis so you can actually watch the cup. We'll see you tomorrow morning. <coughs> Yo, Amsterdam is sick. That train was so fast. I get on the train. You guys just saw that. And then literally I opened my email and the guy has just sent an email saying he wants to sell to a different buyer. Yeah. Not super sick, so I uh, got off in Zurich and came back to the hotel. Actually, that's not true. I got off in Zurich and then tried to come back to the hotel, but got on the wrong train and just went the other way for like 10 minutes. Like waited at the station there and then got back on the right train and came back here. And now I'm not going to Amsterdam. Now I have my travel buddy back. Yo, what's up? Danny's, that's Danny saying. Danny, say hi He's to gotta the be in these vlogs. Oh shit. Oh, Danny's dead. <laughs> Everyone Venmo Ross Fulkerson and then we'll buy this man a flight to, uh, to Europe. Or I'll just keep the money and not buy him a flight. Actually, I'm very proud of you, Tim. You've gotten up before 2 o'clock nearly every day. <laughs> and more than that, he's actually been up, like, way early. Dude, I got up earlier than you, like, 3 in the morning. But not today, though. I got I'm up, tired. did a stretching routine, ran 4.5 miles. I jumped in the lake. He jumped. That's also something to be very proud of. My man Tim is making gains. <laughs> but now we're headed to Lausanne to do some more rock climbing and some more lake jumping. Nice, dude. What up, gang? Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice, Ross. Way colder than the other lake, but not too bad. Dude, that is health. Today will be a... <laughs> okay, we will see you guys at the gym. Staying true to the pro tips. I got shoes, but I'm not wearing them. How you doing, Tim? Doing pretty good, man. I find it really hard to climb after like a long drive. Like everyone's got their own flow, but like I'm pretty slow. I kind of forget that traveling is like kind of get, get in the groove of things. Dude. I'm stoked. Like the route's like really fun. Dude, how do you feel, dude? I feel pretty good. I get to actually do a training day. Tim has a competition in two days, so he's taking it pretty easy. What the? Holy shit! So All right, yeah, you were saying, you were saying there? Uh, yeah, it's like that I get to actually climb. Get back into the recovery flow. Just like make sure you're like confident in the wall and find a rest, like really be able to relax quickly and just get everything back that you can. You about to send some hard roots? Uh, no, almost certainly not.
second hard pump. I'm also just done like 13D and like spray wall. Oh. But uh, yeah, so I'm like resting. This is where the Swiss team like normally trains. So there's a bunch of pretty nice ones up. Super comp style. The longer you do this like comp thing, the more it becomes just like feel based. Like knowing how you feel in your warm up, not like not like oh warm up for an hour. It's yeah. like it's maybe like he said the Villars warm up's only two spray well, so it's you like gotta get three used to of these about not but, having everything you uh, you normally train on. That was my first World Cup, and like I saw like. 20 people on a wall like this big. Everyone's just climbing through each other, like yeah. trying to get their one up in. Quick shout out to Petzl over here. Nathaniel Coleman, his harness is so light, he actually boulders in it always and doesn't even, oh, can't still, tell the difference. Still wearing my harness? Yeah, this is gonna be really <laughs> embarrassing footage. I didn't even know. It's so light, you can't even tell. <laughs> he genuinely didn't, didn't know. That shirt's not even released to the public yet. Yanya Coleman over here. <laughs> like the ISO is the most competitive part of the yeah. top. That's another big thing. Learning to not be too competitive in ISO, like everyone's warming up and like going at it. Yeah. But especially in Boulder in competitions, it takes some self control not to try like all the other problems that people yeah. are trying and like know when you're warm and not be pushed into or like egged on by other people to like try really cool hard boulders just because you'll get too fatigued before before the comp. Especially when you're competing a couple days in a row, like trying really, really hard in ISO a couple days in a row just is is unnecessary and it will get you fatigued for sure. Mi salsa ahora, mi salsa para bailar, este ritmo tan sabroso, el ritmo para guarachar, yo te canto con sentimiento, mi manana te lo voy a dar, muévese con sabrosura. Five dollars if you, uh, you flash it in the backpack and the tennis. This place is sick. Yeah. You are a goat, did you know that? A what? We have, we have stairs in our little apartment room. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this. The venue's like literally right over there. Yeah. Got a ping pong table right here. Some cool flowers. We got Timothy Ooh. King. 